great to see you again on this sixth part of the video series on why acoustics i hope you had been uh, watching the previous uh, videos and hope you had been uh, learning a bit about acoustics uh, not in detail at least the basic fundamentals okay in today's session i'm going to talk about these things which is absorption coefficient a little bit of material analysis and a parameter called as nrc yeah now before i start uh, one thing we need to remember about physics the law one of the law of physics is the law of conservation of energy that is you know that the energy cannot be created it cannot be destroyed it can only be converted that is an electrical energy gets converted into a sound wave or sound wave can get converted into heat like that okay it, it can be only a energy conversion okay you cannot just like that create energy or totally destroy an energy okay keep this in mind because in the analysis of the sound uh, in room acoustics this is an important parameters okay now when you're talking about absorption coefficient we are talking about absorption of a material now let us consider for example an x material yes okay a sound wave is going to hit this particular material okay what are the things that may happen okay now let us not bother about what this material is made up of okay this is some x material a sound is getting bounced on this particular surface what happens a sound depending on the uh, density of this material little bit of sound may go inside and little bit of heat may get generated it's not the lot of heat is very minute type of heat and some may get reflected okay this we call reflection okay when the sound goes inside right then it's a refraction in optics also we talk about refraction and suppose if the sound goes through the edge to the other region we talk about diffraction okay see some of the concepts are similar in sound as well as in optics okay the diffraction so there's a reflection and there is also diffusion diffusion is something like for example a material a sound wave hits it gets distributed in all direction then we call this as diffusion okay so we have different things that is happening when a sound is going to hit a particular object now in room acoustics if you take we have a lot of material inside the place okay in a empty house we saw that is going to be just the concrete wall okay sometimes it may be a drywall partition which is if it is an office room or something it's a drywall partition and uh, once you start uh, furnishing your house then the curtains it will have a different absorption so we are going to study about what this absorption is about okay let us focus on absorption okay now this material is going to absorb a sound depending on what this material is the density of the material how porous the material is all that many factors now absorption in english meaning of absorption is you put something it absorbs right you put water inside a sponge it absorbs so we talk about absorption same with the sound also gets absorbed now absorption coefficient okay this is a parameter okay which is signified by a symbol called as alpha okay this is absorption coefficient now absorption coefficient it has a value either zero not either from zero to one okay very simple absorption coefficient somebody says 50 or 100 it's not correct okay it can have a value 0 or 1 like for example in uh, examination marks okay if a uh, person can get either 0 or it can get 100 percent or somebody can get 25 50 60 like that depending on their capacity same way just remember absorption is 0 to 1 okay 0 to 1 now when it can be a zero can you guess zero if somebody is not performing then he gets zero 
same way if a particular material is not doing any absorption then it is zero okay which means this material when the absorption coefficient is zero then it is a perfect reflector okay if a particular material fully absorbs whatever is the sound energy bounces on that material it is fully absorbed then we call it as a perfect absorber right reflector absorber so it can have a value from zero it can have a 0 0.01 or 0.1 or 0.5 or 0.7 right up to one you you cannot get 1.1 no so it is only between zero and one absorption coefficient so just remember zero is a perfect reflector and one is a perfect absorber okay now uh, a scientist named wallace sabine uh, had done a research of the different types of materials and arrived at this particular thing okay what it is okay there is a formula related to this absorption coefficient now it is mentioned like a is equal to s times alpha okay what a means is absorption okay what is th this absorption is equal to this is the surface area okay surface area of the material okay and alpha is absorption coefficient so a equals s time alpha now for example if you are doing an anal analysis of a particular one a, one particular material like a concrete slab let us take a one slab okay you try to see the surface area okay if it is a one square feet uh, concrete area then we take one square feet then whatever the value of this then the absorption is calculated this way but in room acoustics if you take we have a mix of different material which will have a variation of absorption coefficient starting from 0 to 1 okay some will be 1 like for example you put a thick curtain on one wall yeah so then that is a good absorber right so that may have a value about 0.6 and all that but we are talking about a one particular absorption characteristic of one material right but there will be different material when there are different material then we need to calculate for a1 a2 suppose there are five type of material then we need to calculate the separate surface area of each one of the material and the absorption coefficient which will be different now what will be the total absorption that will be sigma a will be equal to sigma alpha s okay so it will be multiple of all this like uh, let us take uh, to make it uh, more clear it will be sum of alpha 1 s1 plus alpha 2 s2 plus alpha 3 s3 okay so this will be the total absorption of different materials right now where does the sabine come okay now when i mentioned absorber let us assume there is a window okay a window which is one square feet now one square feet window is there suppose you send a sound what happens it totally goes out it never comes back because window is open so it goes out so in a one square feet window when the sound totally goes away it is almost equivalent to saying that the sound is totally absorbed that is 100% of the sound is absorbed okay then we call that as sabine that unit we call it as one sabine that is when the square feet the surface area is one square feet okay and the alpha almost closer to one then the absorption is one sabine okay so there where the sabine comes like for example if it's 10 square feet of area where it's fully absorbed then we the absorption is 10 sabines 
okay so that's how it is so uh, this summation of all this absorption together gives a total absorption now one more thing is absorption of a material is frequency dependent okay just remember let me rub this off so that it, it is uh, not confusing okay now this alpha okay this alpha is frequency dependent okay what is that is we know that audio frequency 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz that means for each of the frequencies this alpha is different okay now the material absorption coefficient of the material is different for different materials is not only that for a particular sound depending on the audio frequency this alpha is different that means suppose if you take a chart of materials of different materials if you are analyzing uh, I will show you a slide of uh, different materials where at different frequency the alpha is measured you can see that the same material at one frequency the value is different uh, another frequency is that is alpha 1 alpha 2 it's totally different so normally this absorption coefficient because it's frequency dependent it is calculated at 125 hertz 250 hertz now it is octave huh? just remember in previous uh, uh, part of the video series we have spoken about octave if you are not clear just get back to that old video and learn about it yeah so 2000 hertz and 4000 hertz okay so every so this alpha which is frequency dependent is measured at 125 hertz which means alpha at 125 hertz is different alpha at 250 is different alpha at 500 likewise still alpha at 4 kilohertz are different so it has different values okay now uh, so depending on where this uh, material is used on what application this alpha value need to be considered right coming to this third topic which is noise reduction coefficient okay what is noise reduction coefficient okay noise reduction coefficient and uh, this is a very common uh, terminology that is used in acoustic material right in acoustic material nrc value people ask okay what this particular acoustic material what is the nrc value okay now nrc value is is a standard developed by the acoustic industry to identify some x value so that they don't have to worry about too many frequencies now what this uh, uh, nrc is it's very simple you know it is frequency dependent in earlier we saw that at 125 hertz 250 like that about at about six different frequencies one can uh, study the alpha which is absorption coefficient is different at different value now nrc it, it simply means at four different frequencies at four different frequency the noise reduction coefficient is measured that is alpha at 125 hertz plus alpha at 250 hertz plus alpha at 500 hertz and alpha at 1 kilohertz at four values it is measured and the average is taken that is divided by two okay that gives the value of nrc that means in the specification sheet of any particular uh, product of an acoustic material you see okay nrc value if it is somewhere closer to 0.1 or 0.2 then what does it mean that means it's not a good absorber so it is a good reflector or a diffuser okay now let us take like a sponge type of material like a foam right uh, where you put water and it totally gets absorbed same way it will behave for the sound also like for a sponge material a normal sponge 
if you take the nrc value it may be much closer to almost 0 0.8 0 0.9 like that okay so the nrc value is a industrial standard in which uh, uh, the four values are computed and is divided by four okay so that is the nrc value and uh, with this i will conclude this particular session i hope uh, you learned a bit about absorption and uh, the different uh, material having different types of uh, absorptions uh, and uh, NRC values. There are also there are few other type of uh, uh, standards that are there which uh, where different types of units are used in the industry for different application. And one more thing to is important to be noted is this NRC value is computed only between this. So which means this is closer to the speech speech frequencies so which means an acoustic material only with an nrc value if you are considering it can be used only for a room acoustics which is meant for speech okay if a particular room is used for let us say a music right for a, a concert or something then this value is not going to help because this is only for the speech frequencies okay there are many other things to be considered for a specific type of material to be used. So only NRC is not going to help. Okay. Uh, with this, I'll conclude. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please click thumbs up and subscribe for this video. And if you feel any of your friends would like to learn more about acoustics, do not hesitate to share the link of this particular video so that they also know about it. And if you have any acoustics, uh, consultancy to be done for any room acoustics, we can do that. So do contact us. Thanks for watching.